Hello. So, unbeknownst to me, we did a video earlier discussing the same topic and the entire video had no sound. So, I thought this was a great topic so I want to do it again and here we are. I'll give you some time to hop in, say hello. This is going to be something that I think is really going to help bring an awareness to you. That's my goal. So a uh, little about me to get started. My name is Amanda. I am a transformational life coach. I help women to really find their voice, find their power, and embrace life. Get excited. Enjoy life. That's what it's meant to be, right? So this is what we're going to focus on today. And let's just talk about what it's like being so busy, right? You know, especially here, I'm, I'm from New York. We have this rushed perception of what life is. We're running from here, running from there, always on the go. And it's almost become a common thing when people say, hey, how are you doing? Oh, I've been so busy, right? Instead of actually, nobody even just discounts it and says, good, how are you? That doesn't even happen anymore. It's, oh, I've been so busy. So let's just think about that. That's become a definition, an adjective, a common everyday description of what you feel like. So think about how busy you have been keeping yourself. You are running from point A to point B. You might be overworked. You might be overbooked. You might not have proper boundaries in place where you are saying yes to too many things. A great example that I think is going to help to put this in perspective is I remember my last job before I started uh, my own business full time. I was working in a law firm. I had been there for about five years. When I was initially brought in, I was brought in for one department. And I was going to rebuild that department, um, work in the business development sense, tr training, and really help them build up so they can increase their revenue. Well, it went well, and we were doing good. We had systems in place. It was going amazing until they added in another department. And I'm like, okay, I got this. I can handle it. Two departments. Okay. Before I knew it, I was managing five departments. And this is what I think is very common in businesses now, that they are seeing how far they can push someone so that they don't have to hire more people, right? They just push and push and push. So I was so emotionally depleted, so exhausted, so stressed out. And you can't work like that. You can't give every single thing your all. I was going so fast. I didn't even know what I was doing anymore. My brain... I, I couldn't even like check in with myself. I didn't even take lunch. I'd eat while I was doing something else and someone was talking to me and coming in from over here and calling me on the phone and it was just crazy, right? And, but that's the norm. And when people are busy and you say, oh, I've been so busy, people are, it's almost like, oh, that, that means they're doing well. And that's not really, busy and productive are two different things. And I think it's gotten so intertwined that people aren't defining it anymore. And so they've accepted being so busy that they forget about themselves. So busy that they don't enjoy what's around them. When I left my corporate job, I took a risk. My business wasn't fully established yet. I moved to my dream apartment and I live right on the ocean. I remember this building being built 10 years ago. I said, I'm going to live there one day. I did it. All I had was my savings and my fingers crossed. That's it. My business had to do good, right? I think that was the first time I realized how busy I was because now I open up my window from my office or from my bedroom and the ocean is there and I take it all in and I can slow down and breathe and enjoy the moment. Even if it's too cold to go outside and walk on the beach, I get to look at it every day. And I'm not going to lie, 
there's been times that I've gotten so busy I forgot to look out the window. I forgot to go outside because when you work from home, you get tied up in the moment. So it doesn't make me immune to it. I have to still self do some self check-ins and make sure that I'm doing this for myself. I moved here for a reason, right? So I think if you have this awareness and you just start appreciating things and slowing down and taking time for yourself, it makes a world of difference in how you handle other things. Another example, I remember when I was working on um, weekends, I was too tired to do anything. Oh my gosh, I've been so busy, I need to rest. And so Monday would come and I would feel like I didn't even have a weekend because I didn't do anything. The weekends that I visited with friends, did a social activity, things like that, those were the weekends that I felt rejuvenated and I felt reconnected to myself. And by Monday, I was alive. So think about that. Even though I was doing stuff and I wasn't resting because I thought I was supposed to because I was working like 70 hours a week, I didn't, I didn't really actually need that rest I thought I did. I needed connection. I needed to enjoy the moment. That's what was bringing me joy. That's what was making me happy. So you have to slow down and just find your groove. Find what makes you happy and do more of it. Leave time for it. Don't let yourself get so busy that you're forgetting about the other things that are out there and the things that you really truly want to do. Think about that. If you have any questions, you want to talk, um, set up a one-to-one, -one, you're interested in coaching, you can always reach me. My website is Empower Life coach.com. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it was insightful. It gave you some awareness to what might be going on. And we'll do more videos later.